Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I really don't know where to start. Uh, yesterday I went to uni to start recording from uni and then uh, realized that uh, for whatever reason um, I didn't uh, I didn't manage to record. So um, I woke up very early in the morning, six o'clock, you know, uh, but guess what? Up until 20 minutes ago, my laptop was no way uh, near working. So uh, on off, restart, switch off, log on, log, log off, just restart again. Just download this, download. Anyway, anyway. So um, uh, anyway, by the end of the day, I'm here. <laughs> which is uh, 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 and after a number of trails um, uh, I have uh, uh, you know using the breezy and recording via breezy um, it didn't work for whatever reason so uh, I'm now using zoom and uh, uh, presenting my powerpoint via breezy uh, I love breezy and uh, um, hopefully it will be okay so uh, just to uh, to go into the uh, into you know um, into work, just to try to forget what happened to me uh, today. Um, uh, this week uh, uh, we are going to cover segment reporting. Segment reporting is different than the the first two topics that we covered in uh, quality and the environment. So. Um, it's basically, uh, uh, as you can see, that from the learning outcomes, I'm going to cover here in this video or the first video, centralization versus decentralization. And then uh, 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 it's really very important to, to know what, what decentralization means. Uh, just to be able to know what decentralization means, it's, it's very important to know uh, what is the difference between centralization and the decentralization. And as, I, as I, I teach you from week one or from week two up until now, I don't want you to memorize the stuff. So basically, it's, it's as simple as centralized. It's a centralized even from its name. That means all decisions or activities, planning, control, everything takes on the centralized on the top level and just to the top level, pass it on to the, the middle level and pass it into the lower level. However, decentralization just giving authority to the, 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 from the top level to the mid level and the mid level to the lower level. And this is what, what we call it cooperative. So I think it's better for me just to show you the, the or to explain to you the uh, top up, uh, uh, sorry, top down approach versus bottom up approach as a, just to explain to you centralization versus decentralization. So what does it mean top up versus, um, uh, sorry, top down versus uh, bottom up? Top down approach is basically the centralized approach. Central top top down means uh, uh, top down means a centralized approach. Everything should just have been taken on the the top level of the management, and then they pass it on to the mid level and to, to the lower level. Bottom up approach is the opposite way around. is is just to make decision on the top level. The 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 top management wants to get all the information from the bottom bottom level and the bottom level pass it onto the mid level and the mid level pass it onto the high level or the top level. The best example for that is I will take you back to the management accounting, uh, budgeting and um, putting estimates and the variances and estimates figure etc. So. Um, when we're preparing the budgets, we said that uh, there are many approaches of preparing the budgets. For example, if there is a, participat a participative approach when the, the best person to just the, to put to give estimates for 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 a machine is the supervisor of the machine, not the CEO of the company. So the CEO of the company, yes, he can approve 
you know, for example, that this particular machine work for 20 hours just to be able to produce uh, the, the, the product or to do the work. So the supervisor of this machine, this is the only person who can know how many this particular machine work efficiently and effectively to be able to produce the product. So you might say, yes, the estimate for this machine 20 hours or 30 hours or 100 hours, the he, because he is the best person to know that. And, and then he takes all the estimates just to, to give it to the, the, the mid level mid level give it to the, 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 the give it to the, the, the lower level sorry the, the, the top level and so on so of course both approaches have uh, their advantages and disadvantages so for example if we are if we are saying what is the differences uh, uh, i forgot to mention because of of the panic of the laptop etc i forgot to mention that of course all the powerpoint of this topic will be uploaded in moodle as usual um uh, last week i think there was a mistake or something you know um and instead of just putting all the items i hide i did hide the powerpoint but i i realized this um uh, and it's already available so i will do the same but anyway so so uh, uh, just to know that difference between uh, um, or the advantages versus disadvantages of anything don't take anything as it is I think you have to start to learn or you you kind of learn my approach now don't take any sentence as it is just to think about it you know for, for, for example in the in the PowerPoint slides I just give you one slide for the benefits of decentralization another one slide for the disadvantages but here I'm, I'm, I'm already putting both of them in, in one thing. So, for example, the advantages or benefits of, uh, of decentralization, there are uh, and many of them, including uh, faster decision making, better quality of, of, of decisions, because of course, better quality, because it, it depends on a very detailed piece of information, uh, improve the effectiveness of the managers, uh, offer participative approach for employee to participate and have their say, because of course, you know, every single employee, they, they think that they have to have to have a say on that. Um, enhance employees' morale, which is a very important thing as well. Uh, top management will be free to have, uh, to focus on the strategy and how to develop strategy, etc. Lower level managers gain experience in decision making. And of course, this is one of the main advantages that lower level managers gain experience in decision making. Lower level managers decision often based on better information uh, and improve the ability to evaluate managers. However, if we try to go and investigate or look at the, 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 the disadvantage of decentralization, if we only look at the lower level managers gain experience in decision makings. Yes, we can just think about it. Yes, this is absolutely fine, but they might take the decision that suits them. They might they, they, they take decision, but not look at the full picture. So there are always some pros and cons for everything. So in, if you think, yes, this is something, yes, these are the pros, one, two, three, four, five, just look at the, the, um, at, at, at the other disadvantages as well. Also, it might be this, as we will learn later in, in next week in performance measurements, that these managers, they have uh, uh, um, uh, their performance, relate, their, sorry, their B and their incentives related to the performance. So sometimes they take in some decision that suit their own, their own decisions or their own performance. So we cannot take anything as it is. This is why when it comes to decentralization, of course, we are all accounting and we, accountants etc and all the professional account of professional bodies say for example SEMA they have all the qualification if you look at SEMA and you really wanted to join SEMA for the first time you see SEMA they have three levels operational management and the strategic and this is what every company should do top management should focus on the strategy and what the strategy is and then boss the strategy to the management level to see how they are going to implement this strategy and then the middle level should should move in and provide how they, 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 they do their operation just in a in a way to suit or to achieve the the company main aim and objective and the strategic vision of the company so yes we can do decentralization in a way 
that it will help everybody in, in the whole company. I think I will stop here um, uh, for this video and I will see you in another video. I hope it will work and the sound will be absolutely fine. Bye-bye.